item E on your agenda tonight, uh, which is a EPA Recycle Ohio grant application. And even though the city is handling the legislation, uh, Amy did the entire application. So I just felt that I'm not jumping, I'm sorry if I'm jumping around, we'll go back to it formally, but I didn't know, I didn't want to make Amy stay all night, I shouldn't have to, but I just thought since Amy did the work, it's a grant application, we can get into more detail later, that benefits our residents, 50% uh, match on behalf of the city, which we have those funds available. I just felt that uh, if there was any questions anyone had for Amy, that she might come in. So I'm sort of jumping around a little bit on the order, but didn't need one or have to stay. Um, the floor is yours if you'd like to uh, give us a little background as to the uh, endeavor that you've been uh, volunteering uh, with the manager on. Uh, so specifically about the grant, the grant covers three um, items. One is to purchase um, recycling bins that can be used at um, special events. So they're, they're easily foldable so we can store them, but we could have them at all the events that happen, like the 4th of July, the food truck rally. Anybody who had an event could borrow them for free, and that way we could um, really take a lot of the recycling that ends up in the landfill and put it in the recycling dumpster. So that's one. Another one um, are apartment-sized bins. We want to do a pilot project with um, Loveland Station and the trails of Loveland. Um, sometimes as a, as a, if somebody lives in an apartment, it's tough to you know, gather all your things and take it out to the recycling dumpster. So we want to purchase six gallon bins that can easily fit under a sink or in a pantry in an apartment and it would be easy to carry it out to the recycling out there to encourage recycling um, apartments. And if we get some success there, we can probably go back and write a grant and have more apartment bins. And the third one is to put a bottle refill station down at Nisbet Park. So to, um, one can refill their bottles versus using plastic water bottles. Only one of every five bottle water bottles used ends up being recycled. The rest end up in the landfill. Um, and it's really actually very costly to create water bottles. Uh, so those would be the three areas that we cover. Okay, anybody have any uh, comments or questions? Um, the funding, one of the only things I would add is that what um, Amy helps us with is, uh, no, I haven't been here for more than a year and a half. I do know there was a time where we had additional staff that could, could work on projects such as improving the city's recycling initiatives. So um, this is sort of an arm to what we do in, in our office to assist with these programs. Uh, the water refill station is specifically designed, I'll talk to Scott Wisby, it will go right on to the actual um, restroom building at Nisbet, that allows for easier plumbing, there's no mud, it goes into concrete, it just works a lot better. So uh, we did not include any funding for the installation because Scott, quite frankly, gets to the home. So, and then outside of that, uh, I know that uh, the senior apartments and the Loveland Station both will have large dumpsters, but this will allow them to take them out. And we did mention that the the units that you pick for the events, they're, they're in clear bags. So the nice thing about that is public works guys are usually emptying them. It allows them to see how they're going rather than constantly having to pull lids off and see what levels they're at. So that's another advantage to the unit that you, uh, Amy picked for the recycling. And the, um, the water refill station has a green ticker on it. So it calculates the number of water bottles that are saved. So really using that as an educational piece too. People can see how many water bottles we save every time you refill your own water bottle. Amy, uh, you've been doing this for a long time in the city, is that right? Yes. Any other comments or questions? Well, I, I think that it's, uh, it's great. Uh, I recall a couple of years ago you were instrumental in an event at the high school, which was a, I think it might have been soon after you came on board, Dave, if, uh, if I recall. So I uh, appreciate your commitment to that. And I think it's uh, really nice that uh, uh, we're seeing uh, a collaborative venture like this to you know, further uh, improve uh, not only the, the uh, environmental side of it, but the amenities at, at Nisbet Park. Uh, or was it just last year that one of the, the cycling uh, clubs donated the uh, 
uh, yeah, the Longman Cycling Club donated the, uh, the workstation there for, for bikes, and then you know, with your efforts um, leading uh, toward, uh, toward this, it's uh, uh, very uh, heartening to see these, these amenities uh, in, uh, in, in our park, which uh, you know, just helps uh, you know, facilitate our, uh, our image as a lifestyle community, and, and certainly the, uh, the active uh, uh, participation of folks is it is wonderful. So thanks for coming out on the cold evening. Sure.